thanks to for the beer on visual arts um level six project the final major project um with this module i wanted to really get a good head start so i went through the module aims and identified exactly what they kind of meant analyzed them and created a plan of how i will actually hit all of those aims um just to ensure that i get the best grade that i can um i created a planner that would help me visualize exactly what i would be doing at what point so that i could really like hit those aims and not just coast along with the module as i knew that coasting along would not help at all with me being able to achieve the grade that I really want. Um, I looked at potential ideas for it, I had about four um, potentials that could possibly um, be turned into a full project. I didn't end up going with um, a lot of them, to be honest. I s kind of took the ones that I liked and edited and tweaked them and ended up choosing a video game style um module or project even um that would be turned into a kickstarter um campaign at the end of it just based solely on the fact that i it's something that i have a personal interest in outside of um university and education but it didn't seem like so much work that i couldn't get it done Whereas something like a video game would have been too much work to actually have got done in the time frame that I was given. Um, with my research, I did quite a bit of just basic looking at um, general aesthetics, like 8-bit aesthetics and retro aesthetics, because I knew that was what I wanted to kind of bring into my work um, and into the project. But I wasn't entirely sure. I needed a visual mood board to look at so that I could have something there that was solid and concrete that I could understand what my game or game kickstarter would look like at the end. Um, I did a lot of analysing of kickstarters like current ones and looked at what they have kind of done that will help them get the funding that they're kind of aiming for to create the game. I looked at a lot of YouTube videos that would help me personally to understand what I was trying to do like with character design um, and creating characters and locations and backgrounds that were effective and would sit well within a Kickstarter, not just in a game, because obviously it's meant to be a Kickstarter, so I needed something that would look good with that, with that in mind. Um, I looked at current games that I play myself, like Stardew Valley and Sunhaven, that have got their kind of start with kickstarters and with like um blogs trying to get people to help and then my finals were a mix of different things i did um a few in-game in quotes um type screenshots that would be useful in the kickstarters because it would help people as with the kickstarters that i looked at in the research it would help people to visualize how the game could look if it becomes uh, fully funded and gets the funding that it needs to become again. Um, I also sort of it gives a really good understanding of the style of the kickstart of the game even um, because obviously it's a kicks it's a pixel type game that is the game research that I kind of did. I really wanted to go with pixels and a more cartoonish style but I wanted to put my own flair on it so the pixel is more the design and the overall style of the game hasn't got a solid pixel art like what people are used to um, because I know there's a lot of those on the market so I went with something that was slightly more inspired by like um stained glass windows type thing with very oh it's not entirely pixel but still in that realm um and then i also did because it was going to be a kickstarter i didn't want to just have games like game screenshots on the overall kickstarter so i did different um 
sort of I did a character poster with all of the um game characters in it so that wasn't in a pixel style was still in a cartoony style because obviously it needed to fit within the idea of the game but I wanted it to look more like maybe something you would see on a game cover um something that you would see if it was put on a steam page that would be like the front cover for it um i also created a gif for the game because i thought it would be interesting to see in a kickstarter if i decided to use it as advertising things like that the gif stands out it's something that is interesting to look at that isn't just a picture or a photo or it isn't just text it is a moving image there's a lot of detail in it people will kind of look at it and it will grab their attention which is exactly what you want with kickstarter because you need people to be interested in your kickstarter because then they'll be interested in the game they'll help fund it and then you'll be able to create the game for real um, and then I created the Kickstarter. I didn't publish it because I didn't want to actually risk people giving money towards it, just solely because this is a university project and is not... It's not something that I want people to um, accidentally give to because it's not sort of a... It is something that I could continue on after I graduate which is something that I was interested in doing anyway because I wanted this project to be something that I could potentially bring with me and follow through with after graduating but I didn't want to risk somebody actually doing that whilst this is this kickstarter is only for um the purposes of giving the things that I've created a context um but regardless I did a kickstarter that if I wanted to I could most likely just publish as is and maybe with a few tweaks like if I sort of think of them if there's something that I've noticed hasn't been like filled out as much as it could have been I could tweak some things but as the kickstarter stands I'm quite happy with what it looks like and what it um tells of the game the information that it gives all of that things I did um different like pledges for if people want to like um as with a lot of kickstarters people pledge and they get rewards for it like posters they get printed books things like that so i did three of those just to kind of give slightly more um information to the kickstarter like overall um i used quite i used i used a lot of the art that I'd created but also went with a few different sort of um things with it I didn't include the gif as it did not work properly for me um it wouldn't load up onto the kickstarter properly no matter what I tried it just would not actually um work which is kind of disappointing but I can put that into a youtube video instead and upload it that way so that it's still visually there um and i do have at the end of the kickstarter itself just in case i did publish it a paragraph that says who i am what i'm doing and what the purpose of the, this kickstarter is um and then i've got a few unused finals like um characters that are hidden in shadow kind of thing so that there's options open and available to me if I want to continue with this on but I think if I was going to do this project again I'm not sure what I would change about it I possibly would try my best to kind of fit slightly more things in but also keeping in mind that it's a kickstarter that's not always necessary because if I uploaded too many things to the Kickstarter it could overwhelm people and they wouldn't it could be too much for them to actually sort of take in and understand whereas I don't want to overload any potential backers of a game um so yeah that's about it